I knew since I was a kid that I wanted to become a scientist. This was relatively clear. I became very attracted by studies of evolution and also the immune system. And I've been studying this for 20 years, the communication of immune cells in those autoimmune conditions, and I'm still fascinated and hooked. MS, when I started, was viewed as a purely T-cell mediated disease. And that has evolved quite a bit over the last couple of years. We now include, we know there are B-cells involved. We know much more about the innate part of immune cells like monocytes and macrophages and dendritic cells. And it's becoming richer, more complex, more nuanced, more interesting. And I think the other thing that happened is uh, increasing better technologies, looking at very advanced imaging methods and new models. So this is a very exciting time in the past, let's say, five to ten years. A lot of things have happened. The session I'm in is called Cell Trafficking in Immune Cells in the Central Nervous System. Cells that usually belong in the systemic circulation, that belong into the blood or bone marrow, are moving into the brain and cause trouble. And that understanding, I think the, the evolution there is again quite interesting. We were for a while very interested in, meaning the community was interested in the mechanics of trafficking. How do cells from the immune system move into the brain across the so-called blood-brain barrier? And now we are more into the second part, asking ourselves, so the cells that move into the brain, what do they actually do? And I find that aspect super exciting, and that's what we're going to talk about some. What advice I would give to younger people, to people who just start out? Curiosity and passion from your field. Open your vision and enjoy all the new things that are coming our way. Science is fantastic. Then I think this is the best advice I can give today, and I hope it works out.